Another roadwork project could affect traffic on the H1 starting tomorrow. KITV4's Roger Mari has more on where the repairs will take place and how long it will take. That's right, Pamela. It's an area that has been worked on before, but this time around, new technology will be used that will be more cost effective and more efficient. It seems like in any direction you go on the H1 freeway, during any time of the day, there's road construction causing backups. You might be stuck in traffic for, who knows, an hour, sometimes even more, you know, depending on what's going on. What's going on tomorrow is a repair job like no other in Hawaii. Crews will use precast concrete panels to repair this 200 square foot area of the H1 freeway just east of the pedestrian overpass in Aiea. It's a problem area due to soil settlement. Previous repairs were done using asphaltic concrete patching. Between two and four lanes will be closed during the day and at night. For now, we would have to just deal with it, but I know it probably will get better after reconstruction is finished. Using the precast concrete slab system technology will allow workers to complete the repairs in two weeks rather than six. If it's a little more more convenient, like the, with like time-wise, then I guess it'll help like, for for any of us that that live lives west side. This same road repairing technology has been successfully used in California. Crews will prepare wooden forms and reinforced rebar frameworks before concrete is poured. The final precast concrete slabs will be set in place. It's a time-saving method compared to traditional ways of doing road repairs using concrete. I guess if it it makes all you better and it for the long run, I guess it'll be good. The cost of the repair of the payment project will be $1.4 million. Because of the innovative technology, the federal government will provide an additional $300,000 through a grant. Work will continue until April 2nd. Roger Mari, KITV 4 News.